Hi friends, today I'm gonna be making tomato shock pan. I love my fluffy and moist shock pan for my lunch. I wanna enjoy the summer heat. I made it with tomato. It's good for toast sandwich and especially it makes a great grilled cheese sandwich. Let's get started. First things first, mix canned tomato and egg in the measuring cup. I don't usually add eggs for my shook pan, but in this case, the egg expands the dough in the oven and it makes it even more delicious and light in texture. Put bread flour, sugar, and salt in the stand mixer bowl, turn the mixer on low, and mix until even. Add the instant dry yeast and dried basil for the aroma. Dried herbs brighten up the tomato flavor. Pour in tomato and egg mixture slow and steady stream. Keep the mixer running at low speed until it forms the dough. When the dough gathered around the dough hook, keep the mixer running for 5 to 6 minutes until the dough becomes very smooth and elastic. After 5 to 6 minutes, give it a window pane test to check the dough is sufficiently kneaded. If your dough is not making the membranes, knead another 2 to 3 minutes. Add room temperature butter to the dough and run the mixer on low until the butter is fully incorporated. Shape the dough into a bowl and put it into a greased bowl. Cover with a piece of plastic wrap and let it rise at a warm place, no higher than the 30 degrees Celsius, until almost double in volume. After 30 to 40 minutes, my dough rises almost double in volume. Now let's give it a punch. Punch gives the oxygen to the dough to activate the yeast. Shape it into a bowl again and cover and let it rise at a warm place until double in volume. After 30 minutes, my dough looks like this. To check the dough is ready or not, let's give it a poke test. Poke the dough in the center with a dusted finger and the hole stays as it is and does not shrink back, it's ready to go on the next step. Take out the dough onto the dusted working surface and weigh the dough. And then divide into two. Shape into balls and let them rest for 10 to 15 minutes until the gluten relaxed. Cover with a piece of plastic to prevent drying out. After 10 minutes, the dough becomes easy to handle. Place the dough on the smooth side down. Roll it out to half an inch in thickness and fold in three from top to bottom. Press the short side faces to you and roll it up while tucking and create the tighter outside. Shape the other one like so and press the dough into the greased mold. Be careful with the direction. The direction should be faces opposite. This will make the dough fully expand in the oven. Cover with a piece of plastic and let it rise for the final rise. Let the dough rise until the dough rises 1 cm over the edge. While the final rise, preheat the oven to 100 degrees Celsius. We are going to bake the tomato shock pan with the cold start method. 
pop it in the 100 degrees Celsius oven and reset the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Bake the bread for 40 minutes in total from start to finish. If your bread is turning brown too quickly, cover it with a aluminum foil. After 40 minutes, my tomato shokpan looks like this. Tap the mold onto your working surface a couple of times to remove the hot air from the crumb. This will prevent shrinking. Smells so tomato-y and so comfortable. Brush extra virgin olive oil to give it the aroma and the shiny finishing. Leave it until it comes to room temperature. Then slice it. Look at that bright orange color. Smells so lovely. Now let's make a grilled cheese sandwich. You know, a grilled cheese sandwich served with a bowl of tomato soup is one of the winter staples. I love it, and this is a summer version of that combination. It tastes so delicious. Or you can make a pizza toast with this nice piece of bread. These are absolutely delicious and it's really good for the summer brunch. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try and go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. And my Udemy course is explaining all about how to make the great loaf of shop pen. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!